Hello everyone. In this video, we'll study about the course Utilization of Electrical Power. The subject code is 17EE742. Coming to the course learning objectives. So this course mainly deals with the use of electric energy in different applications or in different aspects. So we study about the electric heating methods, electric welding methods and the use of electric heating in heating of buildings, air conditioning, etc. And then we learn the process of electrolysis, the fundamentals behind it and laws of electrolysis and then use of electric energy for extraction of metals and for refining process of metals and in electro deposition process. And also we learn about the illumination concepts, the terminologies used in it, the laws of illumination, the electric lamps, their construction and working principle, and then the design and design of the interior and exterior lighting systems, the illumination level used for the various lighting fittings, different lighting systems, factory lighting, flood lighting, street lighting. And then we study the different traction systems, electric traction systems, the speed time curves associated with the traction system and mechanisms of train movement. And then we learn about the motors which is used for electric traction and their control. And then we learn about the braking principle used for the electric motors, the traction systems and the power supply used and other traction systems. And then we learn the technology of electric vehicles and the hybrid electric vehicles along with their configuration and performance. Coming to the course outcomes. So at the end of this course, we'll know the principle behind the electric heating methods and the applications of it and then the different electric welding methods application of electric heating in welding process and the application of electric heating in different fields like domestic or commercial or industrial and all and then we learn the electrolysis process the laws of electrolysis the extraction process and the refining process of metals and electro deposition process and also the terminologies used in the illumination, the different terminologies which are used in illumination and what is the purpose of illumination, requirement of good illumination, then laws of illumination, the electric lamps, their construction and working principle and the designing of interior lighting systems and the different exterior lighting systems, they emulate their level of illumination then the different factory lightings, flood lighting and street lighting, the illumination level required for it. And then the different traction systems, then electric traction systems, the speed time curves associated with the traction system, the mechanism of train movement, then the motors used for electric traction and their control, and the different braking methods applied for electric motors, the traction systems and the power supply used, and the other traction systems and then the working principle of electric and hybrid electric vehicles, their configuration and performance characteristics. So coming to the syllabus, so module one, you have two main topics that is heating and welding and electrolytic electrometallurgical process. So in heating and welding, mainly the application of electric energy in heating purpose and welding process is studied. So based on the principle used, you have the different electric heating methods. So some of them are resistance heating, dielectric heating, induction heating, eddy current heating, arc heating. So you have the different applications in that way. So you have the electric heating, the types, electric resistance ovens, then radiant heating, induction heating. So induction furnace you will be having. Then based on that eddy current loss, you have high frequency eddy current heating. Then if at all, it is a dielectric medium or insulating workpiece which is to be warmed up or heated, it will be dielectric heating. Then you have based on the heat produced in the form of arc, you'll be having arc heating that is 
example is a furnace then you have the different welding processes in electric welding and the modern welding techniques used for the welding process and then the use of electric energy for heating of buildings air conditioning and other applications next is electrolytic process that is metallurgical process you have the fundamentals of electrolysis the ionization then laws of electrolysis that is faraday's law of electrolysis then the definitions some terms used and then the extraction process of metals and refining process of metals so using the electrical energy for extracting the metals from the ore and then this refining of this metals so that the impurities are being removed next is the use of electric energy in electro deposition process why the electro deposition is required what are the requirements of electro deposition and the advantages of electro deposition so module 2 is illumination so here you have some concepts studied to be studied that is the radiant energy and some terms used in illumination then the laws of illumination polar curves photometry and the measurement of mean spherical candle power by integrating sphere then illumination photometer energy radiation and luminous efficiency and then the different types of electric lamps and cold cathode lamp then the different light fittings and then illumination for the different purposes like factory lighting flood lighting street lighting then the requirements of good lighting or illumination coming to module 3 you have the electric traction system different types of electric traction system different types of traction systems then the speed time curves mechanism of train movement and then you have the motors for electric traction so you have the series and shunt motors used for the traction service and then you have the tractive effort and horsepower concept studied then ac series motor and three phase induction motor and then controlling of the motors that is control of dc motor control of single phase motor control of three phase motor so controlling of this motors it might be tap field control or control by the field weakening and then you will be having multiple unit control because there will be multiple motors used for the traction system so you will be having controlling of this multiple units of motors module 4 is continuation of, of braking you have the different forms of braking or different types of braking used it might be plugging or your static braking or regenerative braking so you'll be studying about this and then regenerative braking for the three phase induction motors and braking with single phase series motors and also you'll be having the apart from electrical braking you will be having mechanical braking the magnetic track brake or electro mechanical drum brakes and next you have electric traction systems and the power supply used how the power supply is got for the traction system so you have different electric traction systems then you have the ac electrification how the transmission lines are drawn to the substations and how the feeding and distribution systems of ac traction and the feeding and distribution for dc tramways then the electrolysis of process for the current through the earth and then you have the return path to be considered then you have negative booster then you have the trolley wires and some of the examples of traction systems like electric traction systems like, like tram trolley buses diesel electric traction so this few are the examples of electric traction coming to module 5 you have the main topics are electric vehicles and hybrid electric vehicles so in electric vehicles you will study about configuration performance and the tractive effort developed in normal driving and the consumption of energy and in hybrid electric vehicles you will study about the concept and architecture of hybrid electric drive trains so coming to the textbooks you have two textbooks to refer So for the first four modules you have the textbook a textbook on power system engineering by Chakrabarty the publisher is Danpatrai and for the fifth module you have the textbook modern electric hybrid electric and fuel cell vehicles by Mehrdad Asani so this is the syllabus of this particular course utilization of electrical power so Thank you.
one and all